The best rhubarb in the world is Yorkshire rhubarb, and that's without a doubt. It's a massive part of Yorkshire heritage and history. North Yorkshire is just such a wonderful uh, part of the world. I don't think there's anywhere else like it. I'm now the head chef uh, and owner of the Black Swan at Oldstead. I've held the Mission Star now for two years. But you've got to start with great ingredients. I like to source everything as locally as I possibly can. There's an area in West Yorkshire, Wakefield, Rothwell and Moseley, which make up what's known as the Rhubarb Triangle. The forced Yorkshire rhubarb starts life outside, but then in the autumn the magic really happens and they take it inside in the dark. Even when they come to harvest it, they have to harvest it by candlelight, which means that the sugars are concentrated, which gives it this bitter, sweet flavour. To celebrate Malton Brown's delicious rhubarb and rose, I've created a couple of dishes. Uh, we've made a wonderful cocktail and we marinade rhubarb with vodka and sugar for a couple of months. It has this amazing deep pink colour and the pink sherbet on the top looks fantastic. Rhubarb works so well in desserts. We start with a sweet short crust pastry base, smear rhubarb jam all over the bottom and then we top it with an almond frangipan. And when it comes out of the oven, we paint it in this wonderful floral rose syrup. The smell that comes off is amazing. The food I cook is very much about taking the very, very best ingredients and you marry them together and you get the perfect combination. And I think that's so similar to what Malton Brown do as well. They're finding the best ingredients and creating the fragrances from them.